Social media is a wild place where raw thoughts and emotions can be shared instantly with thousands, but really it's all data and information. It's just a very valuable data set, so we really looked at it from a, from a scientific Point of view. Flavio Lehner with NCAR took part in a research project that took more than two billion of your weather tweets and applied them to climate science. A good tweet, like any other useful data, has a date, a time, an observation, and while not always displayed, it has a geotagged location. Lehner compared two years of weather complaints on Twitter to actual climate data and found that people's behavior changed in response to a changing climate. And that's where we started to see that that people actually start to adapt and tweet less about a particularly anomalously uh, warm day if they had some of these days for several years in a row. Then using a language sentiment analyst, they were able to figure out that the reason for that change in tweet behavior was a result of what they call people creating a new normal. Essentially, they believe that people were quickly forgetting about what their climate was like in previous years. And Lehner says that emphasizes a new challenge in educating the public about climate change. And so it's a new field and I think it requires essentially new kind of scientists. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.